Listen to the frogs. Look at the beautiful view of the mountains of Jerusalem. I know that it's difficult to hear me now, but I'm in En Chemed. En Chemed uh, is a beautiful valley with a lot of water, as you can see, very close to Jerusalem. Now, it's very important for us because there are no water in Jerusalem. And if you want to control that country, or that city, and you know that Jerusalem is an important city to control, you have to do something with it. I'm taking you to the Crusaders' time, let's say 11th, 12th century. Meanwhile, look at the Israelis now that are enjoying their life here. It's a barbecue area, family area, a little bit noisy, then try not to be here on Saturday and holidays, but it's a quite a lovely place anyhow. What their families here don't know is that there's a wonderful option to visit a Crusaders fortress. On the way to here, you can see the Middle Eastern um, forest. And the most important thing here are the huge trees of the, uh, that are still there. Those are oak trees. And there are not a lot of oak trees that used to be in so many places in Israel, mainly because the Turkish, the Ottomans, used to cut it for the train rails. And those trees were or a little bit hidden, they didn't see it, or at that time they were a little bit too young for them, then they didn't cut it and look how high it is. <clears throat> or, and that is another uh, rumor, is next to it we do have a Muslim, uh, a Muslim um, cemetery of the villages that are still here. And one of their holy people is buried there and there is a legend that say that those trees are kind of um, healthy. Those trees are here to remain because they're protecting the, um, the tombs of them. Then let it be like that because those trees are beautiful. Uh, you can find here um, fig trees. You can find here pomegranate trees like that one and sadly it's not the time for that. But you can see on top of the tree you can see the dry pomegranate. But I'm here for that. The crusaders who came to here at the 11th century knew that if they want to control Jerusalem and they came for Jerusalem, they must control uh, water. And as you can see, there are a few springs here. And it's a very important issue. Now, that fortress, we didn't find any evidence for church. There's no evidence for the existence of it except a few letters that didn't describe what it is. Later on, we discovered that if it's if there are agriculture um, factories here and not even one church, maybe there was an, one chapel, it is then maybe it used to be kind of a farm, fortress with a farm. Let's enter through one of the entrances, and you can. But from here, you can see that it's uh, it was built like a like a square, which is kind of a fortress. You must understand that when they came to here, um, uh, we there were few people, few Christians among so many Muslims enemies. Then everything that they built looks like a fortress. For example, Church of the Holy Sepulchre that was rebuilt by them looks like a fortress as well, isn't it? And if you visit with me in some crusaders places you could see too sorry about the noise cannot do a thing with it we're talking about two floors uh fortress and look how wide is the wall why so wide 
two reasons. First of all, um, to protect. Secondly, if it's wide and we will end it to one of those holes that remain, you're going to feel how cool it is. And we are now at the end of, um, end of March and it's so hot now. Then in that case, that was a fortress, a uh, crusader fortress place. And you can still see that, of course, the doors uh, it used to be something like that, but not the, not the original doors. But you can see uh, on the floor, the marks a bit. Let's enter. In every, in every fortress, uh, you can see kind of a yard. Shouting. Then, usually the first floor was for for uh, um, the factories, and above it, people used to live. The people, the, the crusaders, used to stay, and there you could see a, a base of a, of a tower. Then, we are talking about squares. Here, there was no, a no hole behind the door. You saw the, you saw me entering, but. Here and there and there, there are a few holes. Let's enter to one of them and I'll let the others go out. And you will understand what's happening here. Look how beautiful it is. Well, okay, then now we know that the Crusaders were here. Now we know that it's a farm. The Crusaders, agriculture, they are warriors. And let's start with that. The hospitalers use that place. If they use that place, we believe that it used to be as um, a kind of a um, guest house for uh, people who were sick or people who wanted to, be, to run away from Jerusalem and wanted a, 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 a quiet place. Or... Um, it used to be a, um, it used to be a, a factory of so many uh, workers from the villages around. Most of them were Muslims. Um, it's like a feudal farm. They are going out, and let's go in to see one of those holes. All right, let's try to go in. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow, it's cool and nice here. You can see the arches, the vaults. This is a totally a crusader vault. And some of the, some of the, um, some of the, uh, that area was built on top of the bedrock. For example, this is the bedrock. And only on top of it, they built their fortress. And let's go to see the other one. And you will see that there, that they're actually, they have kind of a wheat press. Let's enter to it, and I'm sure that all the farmers from the villages around that actually work for the Crusaders came to here. The children entered to here, then it was a little bit difficult for me to uh, talk about. Folk the Anger from Anjou. Um, from in his time, when he was the king of Jerusalem, they built that beautiful, beautiful place, uh, but said the unknown. Let's go outside to visit a little bit uh, the area itself, and you will, beside the noise of the children, you will, hear, you will see how beautiful and green that place is. Now, there are a lot of, um, no, not a lot of um, springs in Jerusalem. There are, but not a lot of water. Here, for the fun of the children, uh, we are <laughs> recycling the same water again and again and again. 
we are cleaning it uh, we are cleaning it but it's the uh, same water then it looks like even in summertime that there are lots of water in uh, Jerusalem but sadly or mostly in the uh, summertime all most of the springs are dry not all of them but most of them the fortress just like that you could find around Jerusalem there are uh, a lot of uh, crusaders photos here and maybe in September if you will agree one of the people who are who actually subscribe to my my channel my YouTube channel and to a channel please you did that too uh, we will walk through the crusaders the unknown crusaders fortress and this one is a unique one but just like that in a mouse remember oh it's a uh, it's it's actually happening uh, tomorrow on Sunday two disciples of Jesus will uh, after his resurrection will meet Jesus himself and he will eat their house in a mouse which is not so far away from here another place it's over and we didn't talk about the name of that place and Hamid it's uh, the Israeli name but the um, Latin name, the Crusader name, is Aqua Bella. Aqua, it's water. Bella, it's beautiful. Then the beautiful water, and you know what? I can agree to it. At 186, uh, 18, uh, sorry, 1986, they uh, opened that national reserve, and part of it, it's like small dams that creates a pools that people can enjoy it, especially in summertime. Let me show you a little bit of it, or one of the first springs of Enhemed or Aqua Bella and then we will say goodbye meanwhile oh I don't know if you can see the white flowers in front of you it's an almond tree almond tree uh, it's uh, it's my family name no tree but almond shaked shaked almond next to it it's an olive tree Yeah, that tree that you actually can see uh, in front of you. And there's another one. And let me go through the uh, springs band. The springs. A little bit of water, but in Israel, a country without water, it's quite an important place. Then let's make a round tour around it. A lot of people are eating and I'm trying to avoid it because I can eat and eat and eat. Then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, if you want to support me then send that channel to all of your friends and tell them to subscribe as well. Sadly there's no no uh, uh, tourists in Israel, only a few that I'm not working and with your help I might work or at least talk with you, my new family members. Let's end the tour in a beautiful, beautiful view and then we can say goodbye. Some of you ask me how can I support you? Then you can, but it's not a must. Um, being my family member is even more important but if you want me to continue to take some videos then at the description of the video the text beneath the video you will find two links one of PayPal the other one of 
uh, buy me a coffee you can do that through there look at the bot at the like button beneath the video next to it you will see a heart shape and I think a sign of a dollar in it in it it's called super thanks and through there through YouTube you can help me as well then thank you very much for being with me see you in my next video bye bye oh look at that fig tree bye bye